Alright, what's up guys? I'm Justin the Ninja. I'm going to be bringing you guys something a little bit different. It's still going to be a reaction style video, but instead I'm going to be doing something that a number of YouTubers have already have done. I am fully aware of that, but considering that it is still a funny kind of content to look at and everything when it comes to just seeing what could happen and everything... Um, we're going to be taking, we ourselves are also going to be taking a look at the funniest kid test answers. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Alright, let's see here. A few of these I might have already seen in the past, but they're still pretty funny. Like this one, what ended in 1896, 1895. <laughs> I mean, whoever put that, they ain't wrong. So, honestly, if I was a teacher... For the sake of that, in a technical way, they got it right. I would say, even if technically I'm supposed to still mark them wrong, I would either A, just mark the answer completely correct, or B, just simply give them half credit for having some partial truth behind their answer. Alright, next one. <laughs> Name the quadrilateral, and they, and they literally gave them people names. That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Whoever, like, as a teacher, who, whoever marked that wrong, they just must have no heart or something. Okay, next one. Can't really tell exactly what's going on here. If someone can explain to me in the comments what this whole thing was supposed to be when this funny test answer, let me know. But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and just go to the next one. Okay, so for this one, to fill in the blank where the, an the possible answer choices are supposed to be either fit or hit. The answer is supposed to be hit, but the person still wrote pet and then put the justifiability behind it just being you shouldn't hit a dog which if the dog has done nothing wrong this person has some truth behind their answer so yeah <laughs> write an example of a risk this <laughs> and even the teacher marked it right that's hilarious <laughs> okay let's see here can't see that very well because then again I don't want my glasses. Use video horizon readings extra info, okay. Oh wow! You are to assume the role of a Chinese immigrant in 1870 and write a letter home describing your experiences. Letters include the following contributes experience it. I mean they're not wrong. The fact that they wrote it all in Chinese, that's kind of not wrong because most of the time, if you're an immigrant where the majority of your family is still in your home country, there's a slight chance that they really won't understand a lot of English, so it would make sense for them to write back to their home in their home language, so that kind of makes sense. If I, was the, if I was the teacher, I'd bark it, right? <laughs> Hard and soft water. Please briefly explain what hard water is. Ice. Alrighty then. Pretty sure that from a scientific side of things, that's not at all what it is, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty true. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Yeah, racism. I'm sorry, but yeah. I can see the student's point here. I really have no idea what's going on there. But then again, I suck at math, so... Something complicated like that, I'm still not going to get. Okay. <laughs> Communism. Okay. 
or money at home by I don't. <laughs> I mean, when you're a kid, there's really not many ways you can go out and find work. So I don't know why you would be sitting there talking like that as if you're an adult doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read what the question says completely. Because I'm not about to get, I'm not about to risk my channel getting struck just for saying the word. But it says, no, girls don't find that attractive. <laughs> um, but I think from a scientific side of things, it would still kind of work. <laughs> okay. Yep, the classic. Here it is for Finding X. I mean, in many ways, they're not wrong. Alright, let me see. Say and write. Cow, bird, cat, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be duck, but they decide to put the <laughs> fart in place of a Wow. <sighs> okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I think what they mean here is um, probably a subtraction problem in which I'll probably have to recheck my general math knowledge, but I'm pretty sure that might I'm pretty sure that above answer is possibly not wrong. Oh god, I hated when teachers would sit there and do that and when it came to math and everything. They would ex they would say for showing how you got the answer that you have to show your work. Yet here's the thing. There's that slight chance that you get that you get said question wrong. And so, in that sense, if you're following the show your work thing, then, in a sense, they're asking you to show how you got the answer wrong. Which is why I think the whole show your work concept really, in some ways, makes no sense. I'm sorry, math nerds out there, but for me, the whole show your work thing doesn't make a lot of sense when it's sat there and thrown at you constantly. Sometimes I can understand it, but... The fact that teachers will sit there and throw that at you constantly. It's like, if you don't show your work, they'll either outright mark you wrong or give you half credit. Which, that is just the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> Where was the American Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom. <laughs> I mean, again, in a lot of ways, once again, not wrong. Okay, so that last word in the sentence right there, that's kind of the wrong choice of words to use there. The, the kid should have said adulthood. Adultery is something completely different from what this kid is trying to... I understand what this kid's trying to say here, but... Wrong choice of words, kid. I'm sorry. Oof! Now that right there is just a big oof. Like, if y'all are fans of her and everything, I'm sorry, but... Mostly just out of that a lot of modern artists are just not my cup of tea. It's no disrespect to modern artists, to those of y'all that enjoy modern music and y'all are watching my channel. If y'all enjoy a lot of modern artists and everything, I don't mean any direct disrespect towards y'all people. I'm meaning like, in, I'm just meaning in my own personal opinion, a lot of modern music's just not my cup of tea. That's just what it is. Okay, here we go. The effect being him being a big nerd. And? What's wrong being a nerd? Huh?
All right, what we got here? War of the Earth's oceans stores lots of heat. Blah, blah. But his boss fired him. Explained because he slipped. A now that's an even bigger oof, y'all. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. I'm trying not to outright read some of these things because as much as I will occasionally swear on occasion on camera, even from on my YouTube channel, sometimes when it comes to some extent, I'm worried about taking it too far because I'm worried that my channel could get struck for or basically the littlest things. I'm not trying to risk that, so that's why I'm trying to, even if I do swear, that's why I at least try to keep it to a minimum, even if I do swear. Okay, let's see. To change centimeters to meters, you take out centi. I mean, when it comes to the words and everything, they're kind of not wrong, so... Again, even though, yeah, I could risk being fired for being a bad teacher, as a teacher, I would probably mark some of these right just for being correct on the technicality. Unscramble the words to make a sentence. The words they were given are my is pen in goat my a and it looks like what they're trying to say is my pen is but I'm pretty sure anyway that was probably wrong anyway because um, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say my goat is in a pen but I mean if you think that's correct. I guess you can kind of learn the hard way whether you get it right or not. So, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but one of very few modern artists that I will have to say, okay, don't be dissing Lady Gaga like that with that freaking test answer. Well, not sure if it's exactly a diss, but it sounds like some kind of oof in a test answer. Again, so. Again, I don't fully understand that one. If you guys do, that's cool. But, anyways. The first cells were probably <coughs> lonely. <laughs> I mean, it probably wasn't for long, though, because pretty quickly cells duplicate over time, so. Probably wasn't for long. <laughs> so for the next, this one right here, they got the first part correct, and then the second one, uh, they answered with, it's a secret. The teacher marks it wrongly, but no way. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sucky that the teacher kind of marked it wrong. I mean, the answer was wrong, but in a sense, yeah, the teacher marked it wrong. But I think it's funny how the teacher was like, "No way." <laughs> how some of these teachers still have that kind of humor. I think that's still pretty hilarious. All right, let's see here. Explain the. <laughs> free press <laughs> this person must be from Britain or something because the fact that they said trousers they must be from somewhere outside of America because it's kind of uncommon for us Americans to use a lot of British terms and everything I mean one of very few British terms I found myself using is that Sometimes I say rubbish, and yeah. Okay, so after a couple more, I might have to just... I'm going to have to end the video once I'm done, but still. Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. Explain one reason why not. She... <sighs> of course, the blind conclusion.
the diagram below best illustrates and then it shows the whole thing about because of the small giraffe being able to reach up and eat the food it's just left to die sadly that's kind of sad but unfortunately that's just the thing of life if you are not made like the others when it comes to certain things in survival if you're not human like you're an animal and you're not built the same way as others you're bound to not live as long let's just say but they put <laughs> giraffes are heartless creatures i mean they're not people it's not like they know that it's not like they would know too much better but yeah i can say i see where they're going the least they could do is take some leaves down and give it to that small giraffe but Draw a picture of what you would look like in a hundred years. In a hundred years, I'll be blank years old. And I mean, it sounds about right. Considering that a lot of people, with varying reasons, a lot of people don't even live up to their 70s or 80s anymore. A lot of people, sadly, have been dying in their 40s, 50s, and 60s for varying reasons. But still, this person's not wrong. I mean... I swear, it's like, if the teacher if the teacher tried to mark that wrong and everything, it's like, what does teacher expect you to do? Draw a version, like, they expect to see a drawn version of you as an old fart or something? Like, who would want to see what you'd look like old and everything, like, right off the bat like that? Okay, oh, well, that was it. Well, thank y'all so much for watching this reaction. Something a bit new from my usual content style, but I thought I'd hope to bring in a few more of the reaction type videos when I can also. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, once again, consider leaving a like, leaving a positive comment, and subscribing. And yeah, that will be all for now. See y'all later. Justin the Ninja...